Hi, today we're going to look at the relationship between our customer's item numbers and our item numbers. In GP, we can create a distinct one-to-one -one relationship between what their item number is and what our item number is. And this can help improve communication when a customer is placing an order and improving the customer experience. We'll start in the sales series and what we're going to do under cards is choose the option called customer items and the customer item maintenance window will open. I'm going to pull up the customer Baker's Emporium and then I'll do a look up on the item number and a list of my items will appear. So this is all my inventory items. I'm going to select a processor and then I have the capability of putting in the unique customer item number for Baker's Emporium and only Baker's Emporium. So I'll go ahead and enter something in here that's unique for them. And now when they're talking to me, if they say MCP326A, I know they're talking about my 0-A3261A. And I'm going to go ahead and just to make it a even uh, improve the experience more, put it in the customer description so that if they talk about that particular description, I know which item they're talking about. Now this window offers some other great opportunity. It offers the ability to enter a substitute item number that's unique for just this customer for just this item. So if I go in and say um, they're ordering this item and I do not have it available in the quantity they want, I can have it recommend another item number. So I'm going to select another processor for them. And then I can even enter in a date range that the substitution is available for. This can really help us if we're trying to move one product along. So let's go ahead and save and close this out. Now what I'd like to do is enter an invoice and sales order processing. So under sales transactions, I'm going to choose sales transaction entry. And let's go ahead and enter in an invoice for Baker's Emporium. Great. And then when I get down to my line entry area, I'm going to go ahead and click on the show button and do a look up on my item list. And if I want to see their item specifically, I'll then click on the down arrow or the sh uh, view button and change it to customer items. And now I can see a list of all of the custom specific relationships between my customer's items and mine. So I'm going to select Baker's Emporium and choose their item number. And since I don't have any in stock, it prompts me for a substitution. I could say yes and accept it. If I say no, then I get the option that you're used to seeing about how do you want to handle the shortage? Do you want to override or so forth? This is an awesome way to work and it can really help improve your relationships with your customers. Hope this helps.